which of the following statements are not true for anode rays so which are not true for anode rays what are anode rays these are the rays produced by the gaseous atom what happens that a discharge tube is taken right now in this discharge tube some gas molecules are taken now there are the two terminals of the battery that is the cathode and the anode now there was a slit made on the anode right on the cathode so what happened to that through that the anode rays passed through this slit your the anode rays passed and they produced a glow over here so this was the glow which was produced now why this anode rays are produced because there is a there are gas molecules over here the electrons when the electric discharge is passed what will happen to the gas molecules this will cleave and form what atoms now when these atoms are collided by the electrons they will produce protons or the positive rays now students this gas molecule can be anything it can be nitrogen or oxygen or any gas molecule right so there will be rays now the, this will give rise to what this will give rise to anode rays now they are deflected by electric and magnetic fields is it correct yes why because they consist of positively charged particles their e by m ratio depends on the gas in the discharge tube used to produce the anode rays right this is because the anode rays are what these are these consist of the positively charged particles if it's a hydrogen gas the positively charged particles would be h plus if it's nitrogen gas it would be n3 plus so the charge to mass ratio will depend on the gas in the discharge tube now you got the next thing the e by m ratio of anode rays is constant can it be the thing because the mass changes say if i am taking some nitrogen gas inside so the mass of that particular gas ion would be greater or it would be different from the mass of h ion they are produced by ionization of the gas in the discharge tube that is also correct so which is a false statement here it is c that is the e by m ratio remains constant so students my point of giving this question is do remember which is true and not true what is asked here had it been true so true is a b and d all the three 